FBI and Tulsa police investigating the death of a Florida woman. They call it suspicious. There's a hearing tomorrow regarding a temporary restraining order that's in place against an alternative cancer treatment center. And it is not the first time the Camelot Care Center has been at the center of an investigation. New at 6, 2 News anchor Brianne Palmarini is in the 2 News Center with information that she just uncovered today. Brianne? Well, Karen, the Fairfield Inn in South Tulsa off Highway 169 and 91st Street is listed as the address for the Camelot Care Center. And according to court documents, that is where they administered unlicensed and unauthorized cancer treatments. In addition to that, there's also an emergency cease and desist order on that care center. Two News obtained these documents that detail the journey of Dennis and Karen Klockner after Karen was given a tentative liver cancer diagnosis. She came to Tulsa seeking alternative treatment at Camelot Cancer Center. These documents allege medical professionals connected with the center administered three treatments at this Fairfield Inn and one at this residence inn in Tulsa. The Klockners paid a total of $18,000 in cash for those treatments. And according to court documents, the Oklahoma State Department of Health says this procedure was unsanitary with drugs not approved by the FDA. Now, after the fourth treatment, Karen was rushed to Hillcrest South Hospital, where she died and TPD homicide detectives got involved. Usually we're not called to a hospital when somebody dies, uh, but the family seemed, there, seemed to think that there was going to be some, and there is, some unusual circumstances. TPD, the FBI, and the FDA are investigating right now. The founder of Camelot Cancer Center, Maureen Long. She's named in the restraining order and official documents. I called the clinic's number, her number, her associate's numbers, and went to her door to get reaction, but no answer. Now it's up to the medical examiner to determine Karen's cause of death. And did she die uh, prematurely to, through someone else's negligence? Now, I spoke on the phone with Karen Klockner's husband, Dennis. He's obviously very concerned about this situation. He says the FBI has advised him not to make any statements about the investigation, but he hopes to see justice for his wife. Of course, I'll be following this case and keep you updated on any developments. Live in the 2 News Center, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News works for you. All right, thank you, Brianne. Now, this is not the first time the FBI, uh, the FBI, I should say, investigated Camelot Cancer Center or Maureen Long. Just last April, the facility was shut down by the FDA for reportedly performing treatments not FDA approved. The agency has been monitoring the center since then, but there have been no formal charges.